back. Don't bring your girlfriend, don't bring your kid, don't bring your dog, or else they're coming home with me. six and we are still getting our kicks watching determined contenders display heart and soul giving it all they have against the american gladiators hi everyone i'm mike gadamly and we invite you to take a ringside seat with us right here in gladiator arena so once again let's meet the american gladiators five seven one thirty zap 6 1, 225, lightning fast, laser. 5 7, 155, listen to the call, siren. 6 4, 250, flying high, hawk. 6 3, 185, she's the limit, sky. 6 2, 230, razor sharp, saber. 5, 7, 145, spine chilling, ice, ice, baby. 6, 1, 230, feel the surge, turbo. 5, 10, 175, muscle, mystique, jazz. And 6, 2, 225, the ranger of danger, volatile, explosive, He's back! Nitro! You were gone for a couple seasons, but now you've returned. I know you're ecstatic to be here. Well, you know, I don't know how exciting it is. It's more about time to take care of business, Lisa. Um, when I left, I just felt there was no more challenges for me. So it's a time to take a break, let some new people emerge. And right now, I know there's a lot of people across America who are wanting to challenge me, and I'm giving them their shot, and they better be here, and I'm tired of them sitting at home talking. If you want to challenge me and the rest of the gladiators, come here and do it. Very good. Nitro, glad to have you back. Go get him. New Nitro, same bad attitude. At stake for today's winners, $2,500. Plus, they'll have a chance to earn $30,000 in cash and prizes in our Tournament of Champions. Round one, event number one, swing shot. The men will start things off. The tail of the tape, Stuart Nolan, 31 years old, 6'1", 215, a mechanical engineer from Dallas, Texas. He'll be going against Doug Limbaugh, 26 years old, 5'11", 175, a stability and control engineer from Granite City, Illinois. Two talented guys. It should be a good matchup. For the Gladiators standing atop their swing shot towers, it is Laser and his partner, the Saberman. 60 seconds, the time limit again, as I said. Contenders will spring from their towers and try to grab. The red marker, the blue markers, or the yellow markers. Reds were three, blues two, yellows one. Here we go. All four men spring from the floor using the impetus of that bungee cord, and it is Doug Limbaugh who gets the first point, if he can put it back in his scoring bin. Here comes Stewart. Don't let him go back. He was mighty close, but Sabre, great job of fending him off. Doug finally got the score. Under 40 seconds now. Limbaugh again, and yes, he is a relative of Rush, a distant one, but a relative nonetheless had a yellow laser knocked it out of his hands. Stewart now trying to get one. Sabre says, nothing doing, baby. Down to 20 seconds. Laser, Sabre working hard, ready to time their jumps one more time. Laser up a little early. Doug Limbaugh, oh, he had a blue and lost it. Down to 10 seconds now. 
Here comes Stuart Nolan with one last chance. Trying to get a blue, he's got it. He's got four seconds to put it back. Are we gonna give it to him? No, he can't get it into the bin. He was mighty close, had a chance for two. It bounces off the rim and that was after time expired. So, Doug Limbaugh with the only point here in swing shot in round one. Here's how he got it with laser all over him, grabbing the yellow and then on the return, he looks like a window washer whose cable snapped. On to the women we go. A look at Sonia Labar, 24 years old, 5'8", 127, a physical education teacher from Montreal, Canada. Her opponent, Shirley Van de Wettering Buys, 28 years old, 5'5", 138, a data processing manager from Burbank, California. A look at Siren, she draws Sonia Labar, and on the other side of the coin, there is six foot three inches of sky. She will face off against Shirley Van de Wettering Buys. We're set to go. Sky heading Shirley off the pass. Let's keep a look on, keep a close eye on Sonia. One of her hobbies working out on a high trapeze bar. She's comfortable in the air. She gets some air there and has got a yellow scoring marker. 40 seconds to go. Here comes Shirley. Here comes Sky. And Shirley's got a yellow marker. Good work. Sonia again going high, but Siren right there to push her away. Sky doing the same to Shirley on the other side of the coin. 20 seconds remain. Sonia taking a big leap off that tower, trying to spring and can't do it. 10 seconds now. One last chance here. Shirley all alone at that cylinder. She's got a yellow, but again, she's got to put it back in the scoring bin and cannot do it. Both women walk away with a point. Here's how Shirley got hers. Timing is everything in swing shot. Back in the contender locker room, rugby player Stuart Nolan getting ready for breakthrough and conquer. <laughs> Round two and the event for the men, breakthrough and conquer. Up first, Doug Limbaugh. Familiar last name, right? Absolutely. Rush, I'm your cousin. I'm going to make you look damn good on the American Gladiators. Well, I'm not sure if Rush is a fan of American Gladiators, but we'll make sure, Doug, we send him a copy. In the conquering, it's Laser. First up in breakthrough, Turbo. Chance for the contender to earn 10 points, five if they're successful in breakthrough and conquer. Contender ready! Ready, ready! Doug. Pretty decent speed, not much of a move. However, Turbo cut him off with the pass. Nothing doing there for Doug. Now let's see what he does with Laser. Laser, a Tasmanian devil inside that ring. Doug's got 10 seconds to see if he can take any portion of Laser's body outside that ring. Doug. Doug never able to get a hold of Laser, may have jammed his finger in trying to grab a part of Laser's anatomy, his arm or his leg to get him out. Turbo and Laser shut him down. Doug being looked at by our trainers, Chris and Terry. Next up, Stuart Nolan. He's a big time rugby player and that should help him in Gladiator Arena. In rugby is 15 players, play the whole game. You need to be good on offense, you need to be a good tackler, you need to be aggressive, you need to have good wind, you need to have a broad variety of skills to make it and you need to have uh, the endurance and you need to have the stamina to last the full 80 minutes. Well, this event should be right up Stuart Nolan's alley. This is for my little baby born girl. Three weeks ago. Ready. 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 Turbo set and breakthrough. Here he comes, Stuart. Contenders are required to make some kind of move. He was able to break the plane of the goal line. No score. You've got to make 45. I've taped him on the ground for you out there. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you didn't, now, just a minute. Just a minute. 
the W. Just bro. a minute. Jeez. You didn't move a foot. I taped him on the ground out there for you. I asked if anybody wanted to show me the move. That was a straight bull I've been ride. practicing the last three There's days straight, on this. Season. Let me tell you, what you did in here, what, what you've been practicing, I don't know, but that was a straight bull ride. Okay? Let's that go. rule to ensure contender and gladiator safety. We don't want head-on collisions, so no points there for Stuart Nolan. Let's see what he can do in the conquer ring against Laser. Obviously a very powerful guy going low, and again, he storms right into Laser and is able to pull him out, push him out, rather. Stuart Nolan does get five points in Breakthrough and Conquer. That's a W. That was two Ws. You saw it. No matter what else happens from here on in, Stuart certainly has got the Gladiator's attention. He'll be a force to be reckoned with. Well, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because what you're saying is a guy can run 10 feet from here. Stuart, a little controversy in the first event there. What happened? Well, <laughs> it depends on who you talk to. I, I scored, I, but I play like I play rugby every weekend, and that's the move I used, and that's the move that works for me, and, and it worked here. Um, they didn't like it, and the conscience of American gladiators, Larry, said no, so... Okay, it's, so, uh, so we one, leave it at that. Yeah. We moved on to the conquer ring, and how, what was your strategy? Zizi's a big cat. I wanted to get him out of there. Uh, so I, I, I guess I got him a little off guard. I got a little lucky, and I got a, got a W there. You got a W. And they ruled that one. That okay, was okay. Let's go. Nice job. Thank you. Well, contrary to what Stuart Nolan said, the Gladiators do like it that way, but that's not what the rules say in Breakthrough and Conquer. But I suspect if you know a, a contender is going to come right at you, you'll take him on. Yeah, I mean, there's rules that we have to play within. I'm prepared to play within those rules, and then he comes out with something like that. You know, hey, I'll line up and go three times in a row if he wants to, as long as I can play at the same rules he was just using. And in the conquering, what happened, Laser? Well, uh, as my understanding is, we start in the middle. He started with one foot outside the red ring, which uh, gives him a three-yard, uh, basically a bull rush at me. And, uh, you know, that's not what the rules are. But, uh, you know, next time he comes in there, he's going to get a wallop. And I, that's a guarantee. I, you know, I'm uh, upset with it, and uh, he didn't beat me. Indeed, there are four more rounds to go. Keep up the intensity. We've got a long way today. And we're likely to see a few more scenes like this before the day is over. On we go. Women's round two, their event, Assault. And a look at Ice Ice Baby. She'll do the honors for the Gladiators. Assault, a remarkably simple game. All the contender has to do is hit the target located above the Gladiator to get 10 points. But once you're under the gun, it's a different story. Yes, Shirley yes. Vander Wettering buys up first. Ready, ready for her run against Ice. Let's see what kind of quicks Shirley has. <laughs> Moving well to station number one, the crossbow. The most accurate weapon here. Bring it up a little bit, Shirley. Now safely at station number two. Plenty of time on the clock. That one's still low. Ice almost had her between stations two and three. Shirley looking for the trigger. We've got 30 seconds left, and that one <laughs> almost took Ice's hand off. She's still alive. Station number four. 20 seconds. One final chance here for Shirley. She'll have two shots at it. See what kind of arm she has. Both of those low underneath the target. Going for that bonus point, and she's got it. Six points for Shirley Van de Wettering Bies. Sonia Labar up next, and as Lisa Milosky tells us, the fact that Sonia is here today is a true illustration of where determination and desire can get you. From Quebec, Canada, this French Canadian lives on the wild side. Sonia Labar wears many hats, from a firefighter's helmet to a chorus girl's headdress. But last year, after she was all set to compete in American Gladiators, a motorcycle accident almost cost her a leg. Two weeks before the show, and obviously I can't go this year. They thought about like cutting it off if the infection you know, didn't go away. And to be honest with you, I was crying because 
that's the worst thing that can happen to me because I'm a very physical person and I'm very active and all that. And I couldn't see myself without a leg or, or be limping for the rest of my life. Almost miraculously, Sonia has made a full recovery and has been able to return to her anything but normal routine of scuba diving instructing, circus performing, trapeze acrobatics, and teaching adults aerobic hula hooping. But her next job at hand is to prove that both she and her leg are back and ready to do battle. When I came last year, I was very determined. But after I got injured, this year it's like, it's going to be my show and I'm going to win it all. PMA personified positive mental attitude, Sonia Labar. <laughs> 24 years old from Montreal, Canada, safely behind station number one, lets it fly. Bring it down a little bit, Sonia, and you've got it. I don't know if there's a smile on her face or a grin of determination. She's at station number two. And that one. Right elevation, right altitude, just a little off direction-wise. Ice nearly takes the helmet off of her head. She's at station number three. We're under 30 seconds. That one also a little high. Sonia now at station number four. 20 seconds remain. Ice giving her very little room to breathe. 10 seconds now. One final chance awaits Sonia at station number five. Again, let's see the arm. High, high again. And that is it. Sonia couldn't get the 10, but for firing five weapons, she gets five. Ice had Sonia sweating bullets out there. Here's how close Ice came. And Sonia, lucky she didn't re-injure that leg the way she almost did the splits. Speaking of injury, here's the update on Doug Limbaugh. Apparently, he is out of the competition. Here's the story. Well, the second event, I was hoping, I was like, just let it be dislocated so I can continue on. But it's like once I took a look at it afterwards, you know, I was like, there's no doubt in my mind that it's broken. Round three for the men, their event, tug of war. Kurt Gibson coming on to replace Doug Limbaugh. More on him in a moment. Stuart Nolan up first, and he draws Laser. And Laser hasn't forgotten what happened in the conquering. Nolan will try to pull Laser off if he can. It's worth 10. Stuart, a big guy, 215. 6-1 from Dallas, Texas, holding his own against Laser. Laser working him very hard. And now back at the end of his platform, 10 seconds ago. Laser, better watch he doesn't throw himself off balance. That red ribbon is on his side of the midline, so Laser wins this tug and wins it fairly convincingly. No points for Stuart Nolan. Some sweet revenge for what happened in the conquer ring. There's Kurt Gibson, Doug Limbaugh's replacement, 6'1", 185, 24 years old, former wide receiver at Cal State Northridge. He draws laser now. This isn't football. This is just a good old-fashioned tug. Let's see what happens. Again, initially, the platform's cantilever. And initially, the contender has the advantage. It's up to the gladiator to offset that. Right now, a stalemate. 15 seconds. Laser's got that red ribbon to his side, and Kurt Gibson is going. Kurt Gibson is gone. Laser wins again. Two for two in the tug. I got the butterflies on. That was my first event. Jump right into it, just like when looking out on the lake. You're just kicking back in your chair. See somebody struggling, you gotta jump right in. Can't worry about the temperature, can't worry about anything in the environment. You just do it. You gotta go. Now I'm ready to rock and roll. Ready to go, let's go, thanks. Thanks. In round three, the men tug, the women will go at it in whiplash. Own the bone. 
There it is, that double triangle that both the contender and the gladiator will try to wrestle for. Sonia Labar trailing by a point is up first and she draws Zap. Should she pull the dog ball and the double triangle away from Zap or use it to pull her out of the ring, she can get 10 points. A lot of technique involved. Larry Thompson gets the match underway. Sonia has turned Zap all the way around, has Zap on the defensive. Now it's strength versus strength. And she's got Zap going and she's got Zap out. Give that contender 10 points. Sonia told us about her determination, that grit very much in evidence here. And she was determined to own the bone. And Shirley now knows it can be done. You can beat the Gladiator in this event. Well, Zap fell prey to Sonia's power of positive thinking. I wonder what's in the mind of Shirley Van de Wettering Buys right now. Both women set. Here we go. Shirley went right at Zap, took the bone out of her hands in about five seconds. Both Shirley and Sonya walk away with 10 points. Now a single point separates them after three rounds. Shirley seemed to be saying to Sonya with her performance there, anything you can do, I can do better. Indeed she did, pulling Zap out in five seconds. Shirley, I think you just stunned Zap. That was remarkable. It's a move that I've been practicing in my mind all night long, and, and uh, it worked. <laughs> I was what, surprised. I was just going to say, how did you go into this? You knew what you wanted to do? Yeah, yeah. I basically wanted to get her off balance. And once I got her off balance, then it was to the side. And you did it. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Coming up next, Return of the Native, Nitro. Three rounds have been completed here at Gladiator Arena, and our women have certainly answered the call. Shirley Van de Wettering by 17, French-Canadian Sonia Labar, 16. On the men's side, well, the statistical edge goes to Stuart Nolan. He leads Kurt Gibson, but there's a lot more on tap here at Gladiator Arena, plus $2,500 in prize money hanging in the balance. We're ready for round four, and our new game this season, Snapback. Plus our old friend, there he is, Nitro. He's been Hungry for the taste of competition. And now he's going to get his chance against Kurt Gibson, who came on as a replacement for the injured Doug Limbaugh. Man, snap back. Time to go to work. So step back so y'all won't get hurt. Sabre is always ready to rumble. He'll do so against Stuart Nolan in this 45-second game. All four athletes attached to bungee cords. And what the contenders will try to do is grab the red scoring markers worth two or the blue scoring markers with three and then take them back to home base and put them in the scoring bin. It is physical and it is frustrating. We're underway and Nitro wasting no time mixing it up. Look at Sabre wrestle with Stuart Nolan. That time he pulls the red scoring marker away from Stu. Nitro giving Kurt a shove. Stewart's got another red. What makes the game frustrating just when you think you've got the contender or the marker, the bungee cord pulls you back. They're going to have about one more shot here to score. Neither man can get a scoring marker, and it's going to end that way. Snapback, Stewart wins at 10-6 to take a 15-7 lead. Get you tired. <laughs> well, sometimes you get so mad you want to walk over and hit the other guy. Ooh. Ah! As a rugby player, Stewart Nolan gets knocked down quite a bit. Sure helped him here, the experience anyway, in Snapback. On your uh, list of least favorite things to do, where does Snapback rank? Right up there with Skytrack. <laughs> you know, I'm, I have played organized football since I was eight or nine years old. And I'm telling you, this is an excellent drill for you psycho coaches out there to get your boys ready. Because it's like having a piece of steak out there for a hungry dog that he can't reach it, you know what I mean? 
Oh, but he'll work hard for it. It's hard. He got a couple scores on me, but I got some good hits, so well, we you're, balanced out. Your partner worked up a sweat nitro. What happened out there? They scored quite a bit. Well, Mike, so and who's this guy? Well, Mike, what I brought David up here for is to show him that even though he sees gladiators like us go 100%, we go out and sometimes look a little mean, a little dirty. When you're at your age, you got to play by the rules and you play for the fun of the sport. You understand? Give me some five then. All right, yeah. Well, we're ready to snap back again. Zap, one of our female gladiators going against Sonia Labar in this new event. Jazz will take on Shirley Van to Wettering Vibes. Contenders ready! Gladiators ready! And I think what we'll see is the contenders score early and then fizzle out. Sonia's got a red scoring marker, two points. Shirley and Sonia going to work early on Zap and Jazz. And we still have 25 seconds to go. Shirley making a nice move there, almost had the red. Jazz pushed her away. So <laughs> those things are so tantalizingly close, those markers. And then the bungee cords pulls you back home. Keeping your momentum extremely important. Come on, Sonya, you can get that red if you try a little harder. Oh, come on, pull it up. She can't get high enough, and that is it. Good effort, however, by both women. 6-6, 23, 22 after four rounds. This has got to be the toughest, toughest game I've ever done in my life. American Gladiators. Sometimes it's physical, and sometimes it's mental. Stuart Nolan and Turbo, the grudge match. Next. Round five, it's Pyramid and 32 feet above the arena floor. But I'm standing next to Turbo. If you missed our show earlier in the competition in Breakthrough and Conquer, there was a bit of an altercation between Stuart Nolan and yourself in the Breakthrough portion of it. Have you forgiven him? Well, he didn't play by our rules during the Breakthrough part, so I guess I'm going to play by his rules here in this. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> that means he ain't getting here. Stuart, you heard what Turbo just said. Yeah, what is your response? Uh, he didn't like the way I played the first game, but I played the best way I know how, and I'm going to play this game the best way I know how. And what does that mean? And I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, you're, uh, not gonna, you're not going to yeah. give away your secrets? That's right. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to give it hell. Okay. All right. right. I'm sure he will. Turbo looking down at Stuart. He knows what he has to do. Kurt Gibson needs to get on the scoreboard. He'll have to deal with Sabre up there. I'm not sure that we'll see anything extracurricular in this trip to the top where contenders can earn 10 points, but we will see a lot of bodies flying. Trust me on that one. Contenders ready! Ready, ready! Turbo and Sabre set to pounce. Here they come. They crisscross. Saber almost lost Kurt, but came from behind to drag him down. And Turbo, true to his word, sends Stewart back down. The guy's moving well. This time, oh man, a double arm lock on Stu, and back to ground zero for him. Ditto for Kurt Gibson. 15 seconds. Turbo gets to the top before Stewart does. He wants this kid back. <laughs> i tell you what, it's been a good matchup. Stuart Nolan, a tough, tough customer from Dallas, Texas, but he will not, he will not make it to the top. Gibson, Nolan, come up empty against Sabre and Turbo. In a match that Stuart won't soon forget. If you want it, you got to get on it, and you got on him. Is the score settled now? It's just what I thought. Played by his rules, he's going to crumble. Oh, I was just getting warmed up too, baby. I want some more. What's next? What's next? What is next? Anyway, hold the gauntlet. By the way, no, the score's not even. I'm just getting going. <laughs> okay, baby. Our 
our Slim Jim Super Screen says it all. Round five for the women also. The Pyramid. And let's see if Sonia Labar, who trails, Woo! Shirley Van de Wittering buys by 123-22, can make it up. Shirley has had an outstanding day. Surprised us a little bit. Has the 28-year-old from Burbank, California. Standing tall, and I do mean tall atop our pyramid, it is Sky and Jazz. Contenders ready! Both women on their way. And they are crisscrossing to set something of a traffic jam up there for the Gladiators, but Sky and Jazz not going for it. Gladiators are required to play one-on-one, -on -one, and Jazz has been assigned to Sonya. Sky is on Shirley. Sonya's got a breakaway, but Sky catches up with her. Shirley desperately trying to move past Sky. No way, Jose. 15 seconds remain. Sky has got Shirley wrapped up. Jazz sends Sonya all the way back down. Once again, our gladiators have reigned supreme. Just couldn't get by Jazz and Sky. It is crunch time here at Gladiator Arena, round six. Women up first, their event, the Joust, one on one. A single point separates Shirley Van der Wettering Buys and Sonya Labar. There's Siren, she's the Gladiator doing the honors with the pugil stick. Shirley actually got the first shot in, but <laughs> not for long. Siren used all of four seconds to display her mastery once again. Shirley's biggest mistake may have been right there getting in the first blow because that did nothing but get Siren angry. So the door open here for Sony Labar to regain the lead from Shirley, 24-year-old phys ed teacher from Montreal, Canada. Sonya knocked off balance momentarily. Now Siren going to the midsection with that probing kind of shot. Siren now on the offensive, and she's now on the defensive after that shot by Sonya Labar. Siren perhaps in a bit of trouble. Now Sonya back on her heels. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and that is it. Score one for the French Canadian. Five points for the draw, and she has moved into the lead going into the eliminator. 27 23. How sweet it is, and sometimes how much it hurts. Ouch, Sonia. She's been waiting a whole year for this and making good on her chance. On to the men we go. Their round six crunch time event, the gauntlet. Inside, our five gladiators determined to make it tough for our two contenders. There they are, Sabre, Nitro, Turbo, Hawk, and Laser. Get by the five alive in 20 seconds or less. It's worth 10 points. Kurt Gibson up first. This is it. Light out. Good play, some football at Cal State Northridge. A wide receiver, he's got some quickness. Nitro holding him up at zone number two. Turbo now. Good, plenty aggressive, no problem there. Needs to be a little stronger, one last guy to go, and that's Laser. He's getting close to time winding down. Laser puts him outside the gauntlet over the rail. Kurt has been awarded five points. Larry Thompson made the delayed call. Excessive holding. In the, in the safety zone. Okay, we have a five point holding penalty against Nitro here in the safety zone. The contender is awarded five points. Nitro? You know, I had no cognizance of what I did. It was like a train. Once you get pumping, you get pumping, you get pumping, and you just can't come to a stop sometimes. I thought I was completely fair and legal and within the rules. Didn't you guys? Okay. 
but you weren't, so he you gets five. You okay. weren't even here. I you was. Well, hang on to your hat. Stuart Nolan set to run the gauntlet. This gladiator is ready. And Turbo has made sure his gladiator pals haven't forgotten either. This ought to be good. The rugby player from Dallas, Texas, a mechanical engineer. Working hard, working real hard. There he is at Turbo Station. Hawk holding him up. Spins away there. Almost gets knocked out of the gauntlet. Laser the last man. Time expires. They did it. They did exactly what they set out to do. Shut that young contender out and give him something to remember them by. About being bad, uh, I never ever intended to, to ever hurt anybody. That's not my intention here. What happens sometimes is you get so much intensity, so much, so much energy going that it takes you past the point of the bell or of the buzzer sound, and you just can't stop yourself like a, a fist or a hand. But again, the tensions will never hurt anybody. It's like a runaway train. It just gets going, and sometimes I just can't stop it. Um, I love to compete. Uh, I love to win, and I think that's what helped you know make me the best. $2,500 and a chance to compete in our Tournament of Champions later this season awaits either Shirley Van de Wettering buys or Sonia Labar in the Women's Eliminator. Right now, Sonia has a four-point lead. That's worth a slim two-second head start. Could be child's play for the talented French-Canadian, but Shirley not about to cash in her chip. She's with Lisa. Lisa? Shirley, you had the lead heading into our last event, the Joust. You stumbled a bit there, but you said you're like the Energizer Bunny. You just keep going and going. Are you ready to go right now? Yes, I am. That's just exactly what I intend to do. I'm going to keep going and going and going. And Mom and Dad, I'm sorry you couldn't be here today. I know you guys are in Holland, and I love you very much, and I'm going to do this for you. This is all for you guys. Thanks. Good luck. Shirley ready to deliver the Dutch treat. There's Ice and Jazz, our penalty enforcers. And the Eliminator is brought to you by M&M's Chocolate Candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Sonia Labar, Shirley Van de Wettering Buys. Working hard on the Versa Climber. Winner takes home $2,500. Sonia Labar, 24 years old, a physical education teacher from Montreal, Canada. Up the Versa Climber first. She had that two second head start. Down the slide with ease. Now the hand bike. Sonia using those legs to propel herself across. Shirley goes down, and so does Sonia. Both women will now be detained for 10 seconds. And they're up at precisely the same moment. It's Labar across the cylinder first. Now up the cargo net. Side by side. Sonia with the slightest of edges. The only breather in this eliminator, the zip line. Sonia collecting herself, trying to catch an extra breath of fresh air. She's the first to land. Whoa, Shirley landed rather hard, and she's a little dazed. But she's on her feet. Sonia working hard to get over that plexiglass barrier. She has done it. Now only the treadmill remains, and she is out of gas. Remember this woman? two years ago, had a compound fracture of her lower leg. They almost had to amputate it. But she is back and competing. She has a rod in that leg, but she is perfectly healthy. Today, she has showed it, and she <laughs> barely breaks through the barrier first. She goes on to win it in a time of two minutes and one second. Two extremely evenly matched athletes, Shirley Van de Wettering buys and Sonia Labar and watch how hard she worked to get up that treadmill. Both women did.
Sonia, all that hard work paid off. Did you imagine last year when you were recuperating from that horrible leg injury that you would be back here and winning? I wanted that so bad. I tried and I work out all year to get this leg good and ready for today. And I gave it my best. I just gave everything I have. And it's all in the head. If you want it, you'll get it. And she got it. There you go. There you go. She got the victory and $2,500. And now she'll see if she's one of our top four contenders to compete in the Tournament of Champions. On the men's side, the Gladiators' favorite contender, Stu Nolan, literally has had to fight his way to a three-point lead over Kurt Gibson, giving the mechanical engineer from Dallas, Texas, a mere 1.5-second head start. Now, Kurt, you'll remember, came on as an alternate for the injured Doug Limbaugh after round two. Question is, will Kurt split that $2,500 prize money if he wins? Lise is with both men at the start line. Lise? Well, Kurt... Mike is wondering if you're going to be willing to split that $2,500 with your comrade here who went down after a couple events. Hey, he gave 110% what he did. I gave 110% what I'm doing now. Uh, Y'all win, we, right? We, we all win. All right. This is what it's about, all about. Okay, and Doug, he says he's willing to split the money with you. I know you're behind him 100%. No I'm matter. behind him 100%. I just got back from the hospital just in time to see him run the gauntlet. And he looked up really tough out there, and I know he's going to give Stu a run for his money here in the Eliminator. Let's go, Kurt! All right. Doug's left hand in a cast, and there's Hawk and Nitro on course for the Glads. Ready! Look at Kurt work it. Trying to catch up to Stu Nolan. The engineer on his way down, now the hand bike. Working it pretty good, but not pumping those legs. That's what really gets you across in a hurry. Stewart just makes it across the cylinder, so does Kurt. And they're virtually side by side going up the cargo net. Both men reaching the zip line at approximately the same time. Actually, it's Kurt who touches down first. This is going to be a great finish, or should be. Kurt Gibson over the wall first, only the treadmill remains. Will he make it, or does he falter? He falters a bit, but he's got that rope. And Stewart goes down, and our alternate, Kurt Gibson, the come-from-behind winner, his time, one minute and four seconds. Good job, Kurt. You finished this for me. Great job. Great job. Hey, the man, the replacement came through. Great, great race. It was incredible. I've been waiting all my life to do this. The Eliminator is exactly what it is. It's the Eliminator. One, one person survives. Fantastic. Thanks. So another contender grabs the brass ring. For Lisa Molaski, from our team to your team, I'm Mike Adamley. See you again next week on the American Gladiators.